Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna be this is gonna be like a part two video to my last video about uh, this AI car uh, stuff. We're gonna be learning about how to make stops, like at stops at street lights, stuff like that. Uh, to get to this point where we have this moving car, uh, please go watch my other video, my part one video that should be somewhere hopefully on the screen right now. Uh, just go watch that video beforehand if you want to know how to get to this part right over here. So now I'm going to just begin right now. Okay, so first off, if we want to make a stop, we're going to make a stopping system now. So to make this so stopping system, uh, we have to actually make a brick that can actually stop the uh, vehicle from moving. And a go script to make the vehicle go on a certain brick. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to duplicate this two times. Let's color this one like green let's color this one uh, red so now we got our go and stop so for the stop one we're going to name it um stop and for the go one we're just going to make it we're going to just name it go simple names so now we're going to come over here to our car and we are just going to go into our car script and you already see this so what we are going to do is I'm just gonna copy this script. Copy it. And I'm just gonna paste it again. And we are gonna to name this hit stop. Name this again. Uh, stop. Hit stop. And then we're gonna name if the uh, part is named stop because that's when our part is named and we're just gonna print stop to see if the script actually worked now this is the actual code we're actually going to be using to tell the vehicle what to do so we're going to do the seat because the vehicle seat uh, has other components and we're just going to change seat seat dot throttle uh, that's going to we're going to equal zero that's it that's all we got to put that that's what we got to do uh so now if the car goes goes to that brick it's going to stop but now you have to do the go one so for the go one we're just going to do the same exact thing copy this again and paste it and when we paste it we're going to name hit go hit go oops didn't mean to do that then we're gonna put the name of the part go and what we're gonna print we're gonna print go again throttle we're gonna equal one not zero and then if we run it and we don't we don't want to drive the car over here if it hits that it stops and you can see over here in the d log we see it says stop and if we just drag this car over here and we just touch it, it says go. So now we got our working stop and go functions. So now we have to actually put them into play. Okay, here is traffic light. And what we're gonna do. So we have this traffic light over here. Let's just go into the script. So we're gonna go into this traffic light script. This is a very long time. Let's just do five in between. Five and five. So now if we come over here and just test the traffic light out, it has five. Then it goes to green. Then after five, it goes to yellow. Now we got a working uh, traffic light. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to make our thing over here. So for this traffic light, when it's on red, we want this red one to come over here in front of it, such as here, to make the car stop for the red light. So we're going to actually get the position of this red one, which is right we'll say here we'll say right there in front of this red light so we're going to go into the stop we're going to go to the position 
and we are going to copy the position. So we're going to copy that right there. And now what we are going to do is first off, we want to actually group all these together because that would be actually good. So we're going to group. Now I'm going to name this traffic light. So now we're going to go back into this traffic light. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back into the traffic light script. Okay, you see all this information. So the first part, uh, you always see the R, G, G, Y, G. So what's, what we're going to do is we're going to find the red. See, at the last line over here, it shows that the red, it shows red being activated. So, so over here you see as the red is activated. So since the red is activated, we have to make the red one come over here. So we're going to come over here and we're going to make some local uh, parts. So we're going to name this stop part equals script dot parent dot parent dot nope dot parent dot parent uh so that will be going to the traffic light model and then we're going to come over here and we're going to get our stop one and that'll be our stop part now come over here we go to uh, stop part dot Okay, so now we're going to come over here to the stop part. We're going to do stop part part dot position equals vector three dot new. And then inside these parentheses, we are going to put that location. So that's going to be where that's going to be the position that the brick is right now. So that's what I'm going to red light. But over here, it shows that the red light is now over. So we're going to come over here, we're going to copy this script, and we're going to put it right over here. And now since we've done that, now we have to change the position. So, we're going to go to where the green position is. So if we go to this green, the go position, let's just copy the position, copy, and we come over here, and we will paste it right there out of the area now we want the uh, green to open so on the green it's gonna open so when the green opens we're going to make we're gonna do something like this again except we don't want we don't want it to be the stop part so we're gonna make another local local go part we're gonna do script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot go and we come over here we're just going to change stop to go and that should be good so now we're going to take this script again we're going to copy it here and then we're going to change this to go so now if we run the script it should work how we want it to you see it's on red, the red bar is here, it's green, the green bar comes over here, and when it's yellow, noth nothing happens at yellow, there's no bro block there, but then right when it hits red, you have the part go back, so it just keeps flipping and flopping, but if you don't want to see these parts, though, if you don't want to see the parts, then what we could do is just change the position of where it is. So, let's hit the scope part, and we're just going to put it way, way below the map, very far and I want to take this position and this is going to be changed this is going to change everything when the G closes the go part is going to go right there when the R closes that part is going to go right there and now we have red green and you can't see the part because the part is way down there and this now works so that's our traffic light. So now let's go see if it works with the car. So let's just take this car out of this loop. And let's just place it here. So I'm going to run it. Car hits the red brick. 
it stops in green it goes and it continues going and when it's yellow nothing happens and we drag it back over here it's red car stops so something like that but we, since this is like this all we can do you don't want to see that red part all the time so we're just going to highlight the go and stop part and then we're going to go over here to its transparency and we're going to do one so now when we play the game if this wants to load there we go and it goes on green push the car back yellow nothing push it back in red it stops right at the stop sign that's not a really good place to stop but still it's something good green it goes and that is our working traffic light that's it for this video everyone hopefully you learned something and you could actually get what i was saying if you have any questions please post them in the comments and i will reply to as many as i can and if i have the right answer i'll tell you it uh, so that's it for now. See you on the next video. Peace.